As we all know, Dubai is famous for its many construction projects. And while landmarks such as Burj Al Arab, Burj Khalifa and Palm Jumeirah grab headlines, Dubai is also constantly expanding its many residential neighborhoods. Construction activity of apartments and houses is again at an all-time high. By analyzing which neighborhoods have the most construction activity, we can estimate pricing pressures in a few years to come. In this video, we cover the three most overbuilt neighborhoods in Dubai. As of 2023, there are around 740,000 ready apartments and villas in Dubai. And another 140,000 are currently under development. The neighborhood with the third largest number of properties under construction is Jumeirah Village Circle. Often referred to by its initials JVC, the neighborhood is located further inland, on the height of Dubai Marina. JVC has around 12,500 apartments, townhouses and villas under development, most of these in the affordable and mid-market segments. Originally conceived as a master development by Nakheel Properties, Nakheel has subdivided the area and sold off most plots to smaller developers including Ellington Properties, Demark, Bloom Properties and Tiger Properties, among others. As a result, you find a large variety of architectural styles, unit sizes and building types from townhouses to high-rises in the district. In second place, we have Mohammed bin Rashid City, again commonly referred to by its initials MBR City. MBR City is a vast geographical area. Original plans from before the Great Financial Crisis in 2008 envisioned the development of Mohammed bin Rashid Gardens in the same location. Those plans have been shelved. Instead, the first phase of the area has seen land being split up into multiple smaller sub-districts. These include District 1, developed by Medan, Sopa Heartland, developed by Sopa and various smaller developers, Azizi Riviera, developed by Azizi Properties, as well as Dubai Hills Estate, developed by Imar Properties. Combined, all of these areas, including the undeveloped land further inland, are known as Mohammed bin Rashid City and together they account for the second largest number of properties under development in Dubai, at almost 16,000 units. How will new supply affect property prices and rental returns? It all depends on which neighborhood you invest in, what property type and what size. Here at the Dubai Navigator we analyze construction data based on neighborhood, property type and size. By analyzing how many units of what type and what size get completed in every neighborhood by year, we are able to reliably estimate property prices and rental returns for any investment opportunity. Do you already own a ready or off-planned property and are unsure whether to keep or sell? No problem. Allow us to perform an in-depth financial analysis of your property and get your recommendations on whether to sell and if so at what time. Are you new to Dubai and still looking for an investment? Great! With our premium service, we scan and analyze the entire Dubai property market to identify the most promising and profitable investment opportunities that fit your budget and lifestyle needs. What makes us unique is that we do not sell real estate and do not work with any real estate agents or developers. We have never earned commissions and are 100% independent. Our sole objective is for you to fully understand Dubai's complex and volatile property market, making sure you are on the winning side. Visit our property strategy section on our website thedubainavigator.com for a full overview of our real estate analysis services. And if you have any questions on our services or how we may support you, feel free to book a free consultation directly through our website. In first place, we have Business Bay with an incredible 19,000 units under development. Many of those units are located in a master development called the Peninsula by select properties. The Peninsula includes a neighborhood mall, multiple residential towers in the mid to high price segments and the largest park in Business Bay. 
Another significant project is Al Habtur Tower, located right next to Sheikh Zayed Road, the main highway connecting Dubai with Abu Dhabi. Advertised as the largest residential building in the world by its developer, Al Habtur Real Estate, the building will feature more than 1,600 apartments, including almost 1,000 one bedroom units alone. And while the upcoming supply in neighborhoods such as Business Bay can be daunting, you need to take into account that property handovers are staggered over multiple years. Larger projects in particular can take five years or more to be completed. That's why strategic analysis of unit completions by unit type, size and year is important to understand where the prices will go up or down in specific market segments. Here at the Dubai Navigator, we develop legal strategies that allow you to relocate your business and residence to Dubai and the UAE, make tax-optimized investments in properties and stocks, and draft safe international estate plans to protect your global assets. Visit us on our website, thedubainavigator.com, and access a large range of free articles on tax and investment issues for Dubai and the UAE. Thank you for watching.